With well over 50 million monthly visitors, Upwork.com is one of the most visited freelancing platforms on the internet today. Now, one of the most interesting things about Upwork.com is that you actually make money on this platform easily, right, as a freelancer. If you go to Upwork right now and search for people who have this exact same skill set that you have and actually find out exactly how much they are making on Upwork, you are going to be blown away. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to create an account on Upwork, how to verify your account, and how to pull the whole nine miles. And of course, I'm going to be showing you easy services that you can sell on this particular platform with no skill set at all. So this is going to be a complete Upwork tutorial. But before we jump right in, my name is Gerald, and I make videos around making money online. So what I do is that I try things out the work. I come right here and show you guys exactly what I've done. And the whole idea is that you can do the exact same thing, and of course, get the exact same result. So that's it guys, I want to encourage you to smash the like button on this video, subscribe to my channel and most importantly turn on the notification button so that when I drop more amazing videos just like what you're about to watch right now, YouTube is going to send you a notification instantly guys. Assuming you are a graphic designer, you don't have to do graphic, you have to do Photoshop, Canva and all of that. So I come here and I search for a uh, flyer design. So if you come right here on my screen right now, you're going to be seeing the fact that Barry M, who is a graphic designer, teaming up with you on events and marketing has earned over $10,000 as a graphic designer. If you come for that down, you're gonna be seeing the fact that Julie P has earned over $400,000 on Upwork.com. And you keep coming down, you're gonna be seeing Jose, $60,000. And even if you come down right here, you want to break it down to country, you can come down right here and choose your country. This way, you don't have to start thinking that these people are making this kind of money because they are not in the same country where you are. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, this website works anywhere in the world. So let me show you some people in this particular country right here. This is Oyel Lako, about $5 per hour. He has said over $100,000. So this is Good Luck A, over $5,000. We keep coming down, we're going to be seeing a lot of places. $3,000, $3,000, and $10,000, and $2,000, and keep coming all, all the way down. You're going to be seeing a whole lot of them, right? And let's assume that you are a writer. So I can come here and say writing or writer. So this is Kevin C, United States. She has made over twenty thousand dollars. You come right, you can select your country from the list and find out people like you who live the same country where you are probably have the same skill set that you have, right? How much they are making. Now, the number one thing you need to do is to click on the first link in the video description. It's gonna bring you to the Upwork interface, and that's the interface on my screen right now. And all you need to do once you are here is to click on Get Started. So once you click on Get Started, it's gonna bring you to this interface where it says Join as a client or freelancer. So I'm a client hiring for your project. This is if you are a company, you want to hire people to do a job for you. But in this case, you're going to be setting up an account as a freelancer. So I'm going to come here and select, I'm a freelancer looking for work. If you want to spend money on Upwork, you want to hire people on Upwork to do stuff for you, then you should go with, I'm a client hiring for a project. So I'm going to say, apply as a freelancer. So I click here, it's asking for my first name. So I'm going to say, my name is Ahmed. I'm going to put in my email address right here. So for this email, choose a password for your email. So I'm going to choose a random password for my email. Then my country, location, of course, this is my country. Just leave it the way it is. So send me helpful emails to find rewarding work and job leads. If you want that, this is optional, but this is not optional. You must actually click on this particular box right now. So I'm going to say create my account. Okay. Your account has been successfully created, redirecting you. So we're going to be waiting for Upwork right now to redirect us because our account has been created. So right now it says verify your email address to proceed. Resend verification email or go to Gmail box. So if you made a mistake with your email address right here, you can click on change email to actually change it and put the right one. Or you want to use a different email, you don't need to click on this at all. So what you need to do is to go to your email and there's a notification from Upwork right here. Click on it and it opens up and hits verify email. And that's all you need to do, right? Verify email. It says verify your email address. So we're going to wait for Upwork to complete this process. So we created our account and we verified our email address. Okay, so it says, hey, Ahmed, ready for your next big opportunity? So I'm going to click um, get started right here. Okay, a few questions first. Have you freelanced before? I'm new to this brand. I have some experience. I'm an expert. So it depends on whatever works for you. For somebody like me, I will say that I'm an expert when it comes to freelancing, but you might not be. So choose the one that actually applies to you. So I'm going to say, I have some experience and I hit next right here. What's your biggest goal for freelancing? To earn my main income, to make money on the side, to get experience for a full-time job. I don't have a goal in mind yet. So 
you either to earn my main income or to make money on the side. So whatever it is that works for you. So I'm going to say to make money on the side. And how would you like to work? I'd like to find opportunities. I'd like to package my work for clients to buy. I'd like Upwork to act as a recruiter. So you choose the one that actually works best for you. So I'd like to find my opportunities. This means that clients post jobs on our talent marketplace. You can browse and bid for them or get invited by clients. Now this one, I'd like to package my work for clients to buy. Any of these, I'd actually, if I can actually select more than one. So this, uh, this is what I've selected right now. I'm going to say I'm open to contract to hire opportunities. Then I'm going to hit next, create a profile. So how would you like to tell us about yourself? You can import from LinkedIn. You can upload the resume or you can fill out manually for about 15 minutes, right? So let's fill out manually. So let's say your personal role, what do you do? What's your personal role? Are you a software engineer? Let's say I'm an expert content writer. You can be an expert graphic designer, expert video editor, whatever it is that your main skill is. That's what you need to put here. So I'm going to say expert copywriter, right? You can go all the way and make it longer. So I'm going to say new ad. If you have relevant work experience, add it here. So this is where you add your work experience, basically, right? And I click here. I say, I worked as a copywriter. Where did you work? Let's say Google. Location, let's say this. For instance, then of course, select this. You can select this that you currently work here. So you started in January 2021. Are you still work here? Then of course, you need to write your description. What does copywriting entail? So what what I can do is to come on Google and search for job description for a content copywriter. Hit enter. So I'm gonna copy this, come back to Upwork and put it here. So this does the work for you also. I'm gonna hit save. So this is our river work experience. You can add more. You can click here to actually add more if that's what you want. So I'm gonna to go to next, add your education. I'm going to select your education, the school you went to, all of those things, school. You can go ahead and fill all this in, but I'm not going to be spending time here because I don't want it to be necessarily long. So I'm going to go to next, add languages. So you can add languages that you're proficient in. English, uh, my level, native or bilingual. I write and speak this language perfectly. Then add another one and add and add. I'm going to go next or skill. So here, this is where you add your skills, right? So for me right now, it's content writing, copywriting, Email copywriting, content rewriting, video transcription. You can go ahead and add all the skills that you actually have. I'm going to say next. This is where you write an overview of yourself, right? A little bio, talking about yourself, you know, just trying to sell yourself basically. And this is a very good example. I'm a developer with experience in building websites for small and medium-sized businesses, whether you are trying to win world. If you don't know how to do this, let me show you a tool that you can actually use to write this thing effectively. So this is what I will do. So I will come straight to ChatGPT right here, right? I've actually made a lot of videos about ChatGPT and how to, how to actually use it to make money. It makes life very easy and very simple. So what I will do is I will come here and say, write a bio for my Upwork profile as a content and copy writer. I'm going to say enter. So I'm going to copy this right now, Control C. Go back to uh, Upwork here, paste this in. So I'm going to click um, next. You see how ChatGPT actually made the job very easy for us, right? So I'm going to come here right now where it says, what are the main services you offer? Search for services, content writing. Come here and search for services, accounting. So you can go on and on and find out where these services are. So you can actually choose them effectively. So I'm going to come to writing here, editing and proofreading services. Okay. So uh, professional business writing, sales and marketing copy. Yes, you offer all of these services. I'm going to say next, set your rate. So how much do you charge per hour for this job? So let's say hourly rate. Let's say you charge about um, $5 per hour or $10 per hour. Service fee. Of course, your Upwork takes 20% of whatever you make. You know, that's yes, the service fee of the, of the platform. Upwork service fees can be as low as 5%. Click here to actually see how to actually get your service fee. Bring it down to as low as 5% as opposed to the 20% that you're paying right now. So I'm going to hit here, add your photo and location. So your country is this. You can click here and actually add a photo, right? I have an Upwork account, so I'm not going to be setting this. I'm not going to be adding my photo here, right? Because I don't want to mess up the account that I actually have an Upwork. So I'm going to come here and put in your address. Whatever your address is, city, zip code, 
So if you don't know your zip code, just go on Google and search for zip code and put the name of your area. It's going to give you that. So put in your phone number right here. This is where your phone number goes in. I'll uh, upload photo. And once you are done, you click on check your profile. Okay. So this is your profile, basically. So you check everything. And if everything is fine, you can now click on submit profile. So it says, nice work, Ahmed. Your profile is ready. See how easy that was. Congratulations. With thousands to choose from, it's time to start bidding on roles that are perfect for your skills. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come here to browse jobs. And it says jobs you might like, best matches. So based on your profile, because you're a copywriter, they're going to be showing you jobs that you can actually apply for. So complete your profile. So you can add certifications, video intro, talk about what you do and all of that. You can actually do that from here. Education, you can add more education, uh, portfolio, uh, employment history, uh, certifications, other experience, bootcamp, conference and stuff. Now, so it says that you are almost done, 70% complete. Now, if you do this, this will give you 20%. Portfolio gives you 20%. So we didn't put anything in our portfolio. This will give us an extra 20% for our profile. And freelancers with complete quality profile are 4.5 times more likely to get hired by clients. So these are some of the things that you need to do. A brief video introduction, certifications, right? If you have any other bootcamps that you've attended, award, bootcamps, trainings, and all of that. So this is the ones that we've completed. Skills, overview, and portfolio. So you can actually take time to fill this out and the more you fill this out the more confidence you build so that people can actually hire you as a freelancer to get job done for them and that's how you make money on upwork so i'm going to close this now because this is not a real account i'm just creating this for the purpose of this training so this is what i'm going to do best matches rights for high converting landing page so this person has a landing page and he wants you to write the content for that landing page basically you can click more to actually see more about this job, right? This is the site that they want you to write a copy for. So, and uh, this person have spent over $30,000 buying things on Upwork. So he has money to spend, basically. So, and um, this another person right here, website copy, hourly rate $15 to $40. This guy has spent over $100,000 on Upwork and he's from Australia. So you can actually begin to bid for these jobs right now. So it depends on what your profile is about. That is the kind of job that Upwork is going to actually be giving to you to actually do. So let's say I want to bid for this job right now. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come here and click. Okay, it opens up here. People from all over the world can actually apply. And what he needs is that this is self development education and investment niche. We have offerings in the trading space and property investing space. We are going to launch ads for free and low ticket offers with a view to use our email list to nurture and convert our prospect into buyers. So you need to understand exactly what they want and convince yourself that you can actually do this job before you hit apply right here and write a proposal. Now, for you to submit a proposal, you need something called Connect on Upwork. So Connect are virtual tokens for submitting job proposals. Each job requires an amount of Connect depending on the size and project type. You get 20 free Connects to get started. Purchase additional ones at $0.15 each. So right here, right now, it says that each proposal requires eight connects. And when you submit a proposal, you will have 42 connects remaining. So as a new account, you have 50 connects right now. Yeah, you can actually buy connects. So each proposal has the amount of connects that it actually takes from you. Okay. So this limits the amount of proposal that you can actually send every single month. So if you want to send more, you pay for it, basically. So you can come here right now. I want to apply for this job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and take this. Then terms, uh, hourly rates, what they're offering is 15 to $40 per hour. Let's say I'm taking $20 per hour. Cover letter, you're going to put your cover letter here and upload your project files right here. Sample of things that you actually done before. So I'm going to go back to ChatGPT to actually help me write this proposal. Notice that I copied the job requirements right here. Now watch what I'm going to do. So I'm going to come back to ChatGPT, a new chart, using the job description above. Write the perfect cover letter to land this job on Upwork. So ChatGPT has written this thing for us right now. But I always talk about the human element. Whenever you are using ChatGPT, you must also read exactly what it has written. And it did it. So I'm going to uh, copy this, then come back here to Upwork and paste this in. Okay. Okay, so this is me arranging this very well. So this is Ahmed Rao. Ahmed has written this. So you can actually take your time to actually go through this. It's very important. If you have things you have written before, you want to show this client, you can upload them right here. Then come all the way down here and click on send for it connect. So as you send this proposal right now, 
I understand Upwork's policies and I hit submit. And what this means is that I have submitted a bid for this particular project right now. It's very easy to do. Now what happens is that this person, when he goes through all the bids that he has received and he contacts me, we'll talk on Upwork, of course. And if he gives me this job, he's going to be paying me in Upwork right now. So I can go to browse jobs, right? To actually see more jobs and submit a bid for those jobs as well. One of the questions a lot of persons have is how do you withdraw your money after you've made money on Upwork? Let me show you guys that right now. I'm going to come here and click on my supposed profile picture. Click on settings. Okay. So I'm going to come down here. Oh, he wants me to add security question. What's your mother's maiden name? So mother's maiden name, let him say it's uh, Sanusi. And uh, I understand my account will be logged from able to answer this question. Give me logged on this device. I'm going to say save. A password. This is it right here. Continue. Okay. Okay, good. So where he says get paid, we're going to click on get paid. And right here, he says withdrawal method, add method. So this is where you add how you want to get paid once you've made money on Upwork. This is very, very important. A lot of people actually ask me these questions. So direct to local bank, they can actually pay you into your local bank account in your country, right? It doesn't matter where you are in the world. Apparently, there is Nigerian Nero right here. So you can click on setup and set up your bank account details. Now, it's when you're working online, it's always better to open a domiciliary account. That's a dollar account, right, in your country, you know, so that you make sure that your money actually goes into your dollar account. So you can withdraw physical dollars and actually change it. That way you get more value for your money, right? You can click on set up and actually do that. Or you can set up and you see that this one, they will charge you less than a dollar for every withdrawal, you know, which is cool. This one, if you're using Pioneer, which is what I use on my own Upwork account, Payoneer, you will charge you $2 per withdrawal. So you can click set up right here and link your Payoneer account to your Upwork account. It's very simple. So right here, you can actually use PayPal if you have a PayPal account. You can use wire transfer, which is $30, you know, charge. So this doesn't make sense. Now you can use direct to US banks. You want to deposit it into a US bank account, right? So they actually use this. And as a matter of fact, I set up a Payoneer account, copy your US bank account, bank information, and actually use it here. So you get your money paid into your account for free. So... But this is actually the best right now. This is recommendation for people in my country. So you can click on setup. And of course, verify that you're the owner of the account by putting in your password. Then click continue. So the swift code of your bank, right? And how do you find it? Let's say you use UBA. You can come to UBA swift code. Hit enter. So this is UBA swift code. Copy it. So come here and put it here. Control V. Click on find. It shows you that UBA actually owns the This is the address of the bank not your bank branch, you know, this is fine. This is their head office. So I'm going to come here. Then the account number goes in here. Your bank code, three digit bank code goes in here. You can actually call your bank to get this from them. Now your first name, which is your name on your bank account comes in here. Your last name comes in here. The name on your account, most likely has to be your name. So they put it right here. If it's not, you can change it and put the name on the account. Then address, the address on your bank information. That's where you're going to put it right here. Then of course the city, select your country and your phone number. I attest that I am the owner and have full authorization to this bank account. I click on next and complete the process, right? So Ahmed Kunle is not a real person, so I'm not going to be completing this process. If you have any other questions about Upwork, let me know in the comment section and I will not hesitate to actually make videos for you guys, showing you guys exactly how to succeed on this particular freelancing platform. I've made a lot of videos about Fiverr and I am open to actually making a lot of videos for you on how to actually use Upwork and succeed on Upwork guys. So if you've gotten any value from this video, I want to encourage you guys to smash the like button on this video, subscribe to my channel and most importantly, turn on the bell notification button so that when I drop more amazing videos just like what you you just watch right now youtube is going to send you a notification instantly until i see my next video keep winning and don't forget to share out those love you guys bye from here